one of the oldest Chinese instrument and the story that come with it. A very famous play of the instrument. Okay, so this is the instrument. It's a Gu Zheng. Do you like the sound? Okay, hold on. Yeah? Okay. So, so Gu Zheng, okay? So this music instrument is one of the oldest Chinese instrument and the difference between this and the oldest Western instrument is it only have five t five uh what is it? five tones. So instead of do re mi fa so la si, it's only do re mi so la. Okay, because it doesn't have all these semitones. Because fa and so uh, uh fa and uh, c they're all semitones. Okay, so semitones. So it's half of a whole note. So this is the I just wanna show you before we start the story. Okay, let's put this here. Okay, so this is a long long time ago. There was oopsie. Long long time ago. Marie, get out. There was a man and his name was Bo his name was Boya, okay? That's him. And then he was very, very clever. And then he, he reads a lot of books and he became an official. But he was very interested in playing this instrument. Let's pretend that's the instrument he's playing. Yeah, this is, this is just his Guzheng from 3, 000, uh, 2000 years ago. And then that's his teacher. Where's his teacher gone? Okay, let's pretend. That's his teacher. He's a teacher, penguin teacher. And then every day he practiced very hard. And then the and then and then the teacher said, it's not bad, it's not bad, but it's not amazing. Yeah? And he's like, oh no, tea master, master penguin, master penguin, what can I do to improve myself? I want to play better. And then Master Penguin said, well, let me take to your, to your, uh, you need to go to a special place. And in that special place, you meet a special teacher. And then you'll become really, really amazing at it. He said, yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so Mr. Penguin took him and the uh, Gu Zheng. They go, 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 went to a very, very long, long way. And they went by the sea. Wow. So they went to the sea. No, wait. Okay. And then Master Penguin said, Okay, you wait here. You wait here and play your Gu Zheng. Okay. Okay, you can hear me? Is it okay? Okay. So Master Penguin said, Master Penguin said, okay, you wait here, you wait here, okay? And then you play your instrument, and then, and then you will, you will, there will be a very, very famous, amazing teacher who is going to come and teach you how to play. And then I'm going now, goodbye. And he said, bye bye. And Master Penguin left. So he was playing, he's playing, 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 playing. And nobody came. But then he said, oh, I'm going to take a walk. I'm going to walk around. And then he walked around. He saw really beautiful where this that Master Penguin left him in a place with very, very beautiful water, waterfall. Look, this is waterfall. Wa -la 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 -la. My waterfall is dangerous. But it's very beautiful. Look, it's waterfall and mountains and river. And he was walking around. Suddenly, he got inspiration. He said, suddenly, he feel he understand how to play. He said, oh, that's what Master Penguin meant. 
by a very amazing teacher. It's the teacher of nature. Yeah, the nature, the beautiful scenery, is the greatest teacher of them all. So he started playing again, and this time it was so beautiful. He's playing and playing and playing, and then he just he was so into his music. He didn't understand. He didn't notice anything else going on around him. And then, dong, 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 dong. and he was playing and playing, and then suddenly he noticed somebody standing next to him with a big knife. It's, don't move. Okay, with a big knife. He said, "What? Who are you?" And then he says, "I'm here. I love your music. I love the way you play it. I really, really love it. And、uh, I'm here to listen to your music." And he sat down with his big knife. And he's like, "No, you are not. What are you? Are you a、uh, a teacher in a university? Are you a professor or official in a government?" You meet it. Okay, this is not very good timing, but let's try to continue our story. So, so what happened is like, wow, who are you? Who are you? But you're none of these. You're not a teacher. You're not official. He says, yes, I'm just a. What she how do you say?、It? I'm just somebody who works in the mountains. I cut the tree. 我是砍柴的 Look, I use this to cut the tree in the mountains. He's not educated. He didn't go to school. But he says. But I understand your music. I understand what you played just now. You were playing about the sound of the river. You were playing about the beauty of the mountains. And then he said, "Oh my God! You're the only person who understand what I'm trying to play." I'm so touched. I can't believe it. And he feel very happy. And they said, "Let's be friends together." And then he came here and then played and played and he listened and listened for a long, long time. And they're all very happy. And he said, "Well, I must go now. I must go back to my city." He said, "I must go back to cut my trees." And let's meet here again next year. Yeah, next year, same time. Yeah, okay, okay, let's go. And then they all left. And then one year after, he came. He came back with his Hu Zhong. He came back, and then to the same place. And he was playing and playing, playing for a long, long time. But nobody came, and he was very sad. He thought, "Oh, my friend didn't forgot what we promised to meet together." Then he walked around, in the and then this is some villagers. Let's pretend he's a villager. So he says, "Do you know where my friend is? This this um this boy he cut the trees in the mountains." And then Mr. Dinosaur said, "Oh, I'm really sorry. I know." He's he he's supposed to meet you this time, the same time this year, but unfortunately he got very very ill, and he's no longer here, and he's very very sad, and Mr. Dinosaur said, but he left a note. He said, oh I've lost the note now. So he said, so let me take you to see his grave where he's buried, and then you can see him there. So Mr. Dinosaur took him. To see that was his grave here. Let's pretend that's his grave. So this is his grave, and he was very very sad. His friend died because he's the only person in the world who can understand him. He played and played and played, 
And after he finished the last piece of music, he broke he broke it. He's, he broke his guzheng. He broke into pieces and threw it in the water because he said, from now on, there's nobody else in this world who can understand my music, and I shall remember my friend forever. That was the story. So he was a very good. It's a bit too sad. Shall I change the ending then? Okay. So in the end, he came up and he said, I'm so happy to see you. Okay, let's take it from the river. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you. Let's play together again. Is that better? Okay. So then let's leave it to happy ending then. So that was the story about the guzheng and friendship. So in Chinese, zhiyin. Zhiyin is when we describe somebody who understands you very well and who can be your best friend. Okay. So we're going to do this Chinese character. Can you see it? This is very this is a very important Chinese character. This is a very important Chinese character. Okay. This is the Chinese in Chinese. Wait a minute. Okay. So so do you know what do you know why it's like this? So in the in the in long long time ago, when we were creating Chinese characters, we we think about what they look like. So does this look like? Do you remember the little green pe green beans you eat? Yeah, it's like little green. Um, how do you say? Zhao jiao shu. So so can I can I can I show you first? So this is like this little green beans. And then inside, there's little little piece inside. 就是皂角树里面有小豆豆 There's little little dots of little beans inside. And when you shake it, it makes a lot of sound. Yeah. Is it is it like uh, when we did them? Look. It's a bit like when we did this yesterday. When you shake it, when you put something in a bottle, when you shake it, it makes a lot of sound. And then it's a very happy sound. So this is the beginning, and then we start evolving it. And then now this word just became "guzheng." So the top is two green beans and a little piece of dirt. The bottom is a piece of stone. And now we write this. Why is this not this? This is this is from like five thousand years ago, then two thousand years ago. And then now we write it. It takes time for us to make it a little bit more straight. See, we make the line more straight. Yeah, this is how we write it now. We're now writing this. This is the music of the notes. And then it's the, also the same character as happy. It's the same character. It's the same character. Okay. So, um, I think somewhere there's a meaning. Music and happiness goes together. And there's another one we can do, which is very cool. I'm going to show you. So there's another one we can do. So do you remember yesterday? Yesterday, what happened when we learned 早字 Yeah. Do 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 you remember what happened yesterday? We learned 早 and then we put the hair, little hair, little grass on top like that, and then this be some grass, 就是小草的草 Same here. If we put some grass. On here, 这个字就是药 It means medicine. And coffee is not good for your health. Coffee is not good for your health. So, in Chinese, 药吃药的药字就是这样写，就是音乐的乐字。音乐的乐带上带上，如果是如果是
um, 带上一个草字头。So music has in Chinese is very very important concept in Chinese culture. Music has a healing medical. Okay, so so I'm going to leave you like this and um, hold on. And then let's try to do some drawings or paintings with the Chinese music in the background. And then so you kind of remember when he was when he got inspired by the greatest teacher, which is nature, and he played very beautiful beautiful music. So let's try to see if you can be inspired by the music and see what paintings you can come up with. Okay, so we're gonna do a few. Um let's try this too. We're going to do a few like this. Um, okay, let's do share screen. Okay, so I'm gonna play you a few mu uh, music, and then you you can start painting what you think, what you feel when you hear this music, and what do you. I want to draw. Wait, let's do my book. I want a video, Dutch tea. Eh? Let's see. Okay, let's do the first one. The first one. They all. I'll send you the links later. They all by very famous artists. So the first one is this one. Homeschools out. Real okay. schools in. And that's when have all the great value. You okay. So see, see what you can, see what you can um. What does it remind you of? Okay, you can use paint, you can use paint or control. And if you think about when you listen to this music.
this bit remind you of? Do you sound like water? Do you sound like water flowing down to the mountain? Okay, Marie has no response. Zero. <laughs> Are you listening to this? That was the most famous Guzheng music, okay? And then let's try something different and see what download a free what audio you can on your thirty day trial. What you can think about when you listen to this music, and like what color you can think about, what mark think about the colors, the mark making, and.
now. I think my free Squarespace allows me. So, but I think it's a bit long. Other children need to do other things. So, I think Marie's response to the last music is dancing. <laughs> so, can you come here and explain your drawings? Uh, I can send you your links of some other ones. So, we did a, a very traditional, a slow one and a very fast one. So, Marie's response to the slow one is I don't. Marie, what is that? Is that a house? Is it Marie's response is a giant with a lot of moon somehow for the first one. And the second one is like a playground with what is it? Oh it's a road. It's a road. It's a road to go somewhere in the second one. And then this guy is making some dots. And in the middle somehow it's a numbers. Okay? So let's have a look what everybody else has done. Okay, let's stop. Okay, you cannot come.